Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about a very clever thing that our body does called anastomosis. Have you ever heard of this term before? Well, if you have an interest in the lymphatic system for any reason, you need to know about anastomosis. Most people, when they learn this little nugget of information, their faces light up and they have that light bulb moment of, oh wow, that's really cool, now I get it. So. What is anastomosis? Well, first of all, let me start with the different drainage areas in our lymphatic system. In some of my other videos, you will have seen me map out on my body the lines that separate the drainage areas in the body, just to, to give a bit of a, a visual. So imagine that I have a line drawn down the center of my body here, dividing my lymphatic system into the left side of my body and the right side of my body. Just to keep it simple, just imagine left and right. Between the left and right side, we have an area called a watershed. And the lymphatic fluid on either side of that watershed flows away from the watershed towards the lymph nodes in that drainage area, essentially, in a nutshell. So fluid does not cross over the watershed. It essentially is moving away from the watershed in opposite directions. But we can actually teach the body to move fluid in a different direction, which is why it's vital that we perform our simple lymphatic drainage every single day. Because what happens is, for example, if this drainage area is damaged here and we wanna move fluid out of this damaged drainage area, we can move across from the left to the right. And we do that by using our simple lymphatic drainage technique, which is also covered in some of my other videos. It's covered in my online course and also covered in online tutorials if you ever want to have an online one-on-one -on -one tutorial with me where I teach all of the content of the online course too. So we perform our simple lymphatic drainage to move fluid across to an area, a drainage area that's fully functioning so that we can get the fluid out of that damaged drainage area. And what happens is if you imagine that my fingers here are tiny, tiny microscopic little uh, lymphatic vessels, I almost said blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, and at the drainage, uh, at the watershed area, they're, they're, not to, they're not connected to each other, they're separate, right? Because remember the fluid is going in different directions. But when we start to encourage fluid just under the surface of the skin, we encourage that fluid across to the other side. What happens is the vessels are so tiny and microscopic that when the fluid is crossing, the little vessels start to come together and grow together. And this is called anastomosis. Now we've created a new pathway across that watershed. We've taught the body to bring the fluid across to the other side. When we don't perform our brushing or our simple lymphatic drainage every day, or we're only going for um, a session with a therapist once a month, for example, or once every two weeks, the tiny microscopic vessels break apart again. And now the watershed is dividing the two drainage areas and the drainage areas are gonna flow the way that they normally flow. So can you see when we create anastomosis, we encourage anastomosis by gently moving fluid across the watershed. When anastomosis takes place, the vessels join together, we now have a new pathway. And every day for a couple of minutes, even a few seconds, we keep moving the fluid across, we keep that channel open, that new pathway that was created by anastomosis, and the body has now learned to keep moving the fluid out of the damaged drainage area. Isn't that just magic? Magic. <laughs> and that is why it is essential, whether you are seeing a therapist or not, you must be doing a little bit of simple lymphatic drainage every single day to make sure that those vessels stay together and you keep your new drainage pathway open. Otherwise, each time you go back to the therapist, you're starting from zero again, and you have to keep just redoing that process. But you have the power to keep that channel open in a very simple, gentle, easy to learn way. And now you have the knowledge to understand why. Why should you learn this? Why should you be doing it? And why do you need to do it even if you're seeing a therapist? So guys, if you would like to learn more about this, come and talk to me, book an online session with me. You can book an online consultation 
or go straight into booking a consultation with a tutorial where I teach you how to do all of this, plus loads of other stuff to help you with lymphatic drainage in your body. And I also have my online courses. So come and talk to me. Please feel free to ask questions. There's no charge for that. I'm here. No question is too big or small. And do get in touch if you want to learn this stuff. Now you understand why it's so important, right? And why you need to do even just a few seconds every single day. So don't delay, learn this stuff, get in control, get on top of all of this, get the swelling out of your limb, prevent the swelling from building up in your limb. The power is in your hands, quite literally. So I hope to speak to some of you soon and teach you everything that I know.